Ah, good old S Central Station. Yep, that sure was a pretty good day of destroying an airship. And by day, I mean, like, half an hour. Not even that, really. Yep, <laughs> the bird just kind of zoomed in. Fly to me, my birdie! <laughs> Clonk. <laughs> I love his awkward little spin. Well, anyway, bye, Amy. I'm gonna see what her mortal enemy is up to. Have a good day. That's Eggman. I wonder what happened to Sonic. <laughs> I love that line reading. First take tails. That's what they call him. I wonder what happened to Eggman. I'm finished. Chaos was defeated, and now my egg carrier is ruined. This is actually the first time I've been disappointed by everything in my life. <laughs> he does a little jig. What you doing, Eggman? You, uh, gonna dance everyone into submission? Oh. A missile. You're just going to straight up blow up Station Square. Okay, that's cool. You're just gonna sit here? We better stop it. Oh, damn. Eggman, are you seriously going to destroy the missile with yourself still in proximity of the city? <laughs> Tails' is terrified face. Uh-oh. Well, by Station Square. Nice knowing ya. Huh? Where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be a Station Square shattering kaboom. Oh, no, it was a dud. Oh, darn. <laughs> By the way, great song right here. This song only plays for, like, this moment. It's so good. Yep, let me just stand here while Eggman gets away. <laughs> let me fling myself onto the scene. And now it's all within my reach. Endless possibility? Oh, darn. Okay, let's go do that. It sure does. And now, character development, at possibly the worst place. You know, you could consider this while running. Like, there's an elevator in there. You have to take an elevator to Speed Highway. You have time to have this little bit of character development and realization when you're riding the elevator. And, Tails gets possibly the best final level. The best part of Speed Highway. I think you can keep up with me. <laughs> That's pretty great. So yes, the final race in the game is with Eggman through Speed Highway. I don't know if this is really the best final level music, but it's run through the Speed Highway, so who gives a damn? So Eggman, I believe, is a little faster than Sonic because he floats, but also he still can't use the rings, so who cares? Also, he has, like, the best voice clips in the game, but we're not going to hear them because I'm going to be way ahead of Eggman at, like, all points. One of his... one of my favorite lines from him is, Tails, wait for me! It's pretty great. I do kind of wish it was more neck and neck, but I'm kind of really good at Speed Highway. And if I remember correctly, this was the first take. I do kind of screw up at the end, but for the most part, it's pretty smooth sailing. So see, Tails, your character development wasn't for nothing. You know, throughout the entirety of your story, you've been beating Sonic at races, and now you're like, okay, I've got to grow up, and I don't want to depend on Sonic anymore. i got to do things on my own. And you know what? You're doing A-OK -okay with that. Everything's pretty great when you're a fox with two tails that can fly through the skies and spin forever. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Okay, I kind of screwed up there as well, but look at how far away he is. It doesn't matter. Now it happens. I will never give up the race, long as the voice inside, etc., etc. Let's stop singing someone else's theme, and also I really wish I didn't pick up that speed shoe, but I, I guess it was kind of useful for this last section, which again, I went the bottom path because I thought I wasn't quite timed right for the top one, but it doesn't matter. And despite the fact that I kind of screwed up the rhythm of the music, we still win. 
A little anticlimactic because the music was just starting again when we finished, but whatever. I did pretty great. Minute 49. I wrecked Eggman. Completely. So now that we've found the missile, let's stand in front of it and not do anything about it. Oh no! It's Robotnik! <laughs> Said no one ever. You stood in front of it and now I can do nothing about it. So, uh, by the way... Eggman's really angry. <laughs> Casino Ken! Great voice acting right here. You fool. Boy, before I make mincemeat out of you. I will fucking murder this fox, I swear to God. I can do this! To be honest, I wouldn't blame Tails for being terrified, because Eggman kind of is out for blood right now. But on the bright side, Eggwalker is kind of intimida an intimidating final boss. When I was younger, I thought this was the hardest boss in the game, but it's actually really easy. Basically, fly. He can't really do anything about you. Fly up, and at first he only lifts one leg. I think the hardest part about this battle is just hitting him without a target jump, because sometimes... You just don't want to hit his hitbox for some reason. I don't know why that happens, but nonetheless. Uh, sometimes he'll just do walkies, keep between him, and once he's done stomping around, you can do... Oh, yeah, see, bad positioning. I almost didn't hit him right there, but I hit him while flying, so no big deal. I guess the other big problem would just be getting clipped by bombs. It happens sometimes, or sometimes it doesn't because you get really lucky, but whatever. Oh, by the way, uh, this song's name is Militant Missionary. I didn't uh, actually mention it during the fight with Egg Viper. Yeah, I honestly still think that Egg Viper is the harder fight, even though, to be honest, that one's still pretty easy to me now. And we are done here. Hooray! Let me stand in front of this exploding robot! I did it! I'm real proud of myself! You did good, Tails. You did good. Hey, I did it! You saved the day! You're the best! I'm so glad all these generic NPCs are proud of Tails. He's so happy! And also, this is completely canon, because I guess I also do that little spin to get flying. You gotta position yourself just right, you know? Oh, and by the way, I made sure to position this song correctly this time, so uh, you're welcome to anyone who may be listening. And just like in Sonic's ending, Tails and Sonic discuss their final battles with Eggman. Sonic's like, hey, hey Eggman killed me buddy, and then I beat the crud out of his Egg Viper, and Tails is like, yeah, Eggman just straight up wanted to kill me? You should have heard it. He was really pissed. And just like Sonic, we're going to end by jumping in freezing frame. But thanks to my changes, I made sure this was synced up. So that's Tails' story. That was pretty short, right? <laughs> uh, I, I do really like Tails' story, though. It's really fast. I like the whole race thing. Even if it is a little on the easy side, it's fun to just fly through the entire stage like it was no thing. And I mean, the game supports this because it places rings outside the stage, so you can just fly through those and get a boost. And there are just so many ways to break stages. I love it. And story-wise, you know, you got the whole Tails trying to become more dependent. He doesn't want to rely on Sonic all the time. That doesn't really happen much in the series. But nonetheless, it's also reflected by his theme, which I like. I, I like Believe in Myself a lot. And completely ironically as well, because I don't listen to anything ironically. In fact, um... Uh Probably my third-ish favorite song in the game. I don't know, I don't really rank them often, but it's pretty good. 
I think the only real problem I have with Tales of Story is, it is, I wouldn't say necessarily intended to be played directly after Sonic's, but I think most people do play it directly after Sonic's, because it's the first one you get other than Sonic's, and it's right next to Sonic on the menu, so most people go with him. And there is just so much repeated from Sonic's story. I don't mind the repeat stages so much, but the repeat bosses and minigames, while short and not as bad as something like Sonic 06, where bosses and minigames take forever, it's still a little annoying to have to play those for two stories in a row, so they could have spaced those out a little bit better, but other than that, good stages, and, well, that's just about it. Not, not too much else to talk about other than the uh, good stages for Tails. So, I guess since there's not much else to talk about, next time on Sonic Adventure, either I'll do the bonus part and go to the Mystic Runes Chow Garden, or, if you don't want to watch that, we'll be moving on to Knuckles' story. Rest in peace, Tornado One. You sure were an airplane. That once said Sonic on it, but then you didn't.